Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to the 15th episode of Python's Realm. Thank you so much once again for the support you showed in the last episode, reaching well over 1100 likes, which is super, super appreciated my friends. And of course, if you guys are still hyped for this series and for more content to come, do be sure to drop a like rating. So yeah, in today's episode my friends, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it's going to be a bit more of a calm sort of grindy episode. Every so often I like to do these in an attempt to go and grab myself a bunch of epic stuff in in this case, we want to try and get ourselves some wings, maybe a Nimbus rod, and then if all else fails, then it would be kind of nice to go mining, and actually, it's just stopped raining, so in fact, we're not going to get ourselves a Nimbus rod at all, nor are we going to get frost armor, so actually, that kind of sucks, but anyway, it doesn't matter a great deal, we can still try and get ourselves some wings at the very least, now, uh, hmm... I have gravitation potions, which will lead me up to a beautiful sky island. I should be able to go ahead and get that. Oh, I should be able to go ahead and get that thing going. And at the very least, we should be able to go and get ourselves some, uh, some, well, some pants wings. I mean, just, just some wings will do the job for me. You know what I'm saying? So let's try and get ourselves way, way up to the sky island. In fact, I've actually gone a bit too far, to be honest. So. Yeah, it would be nice if we got ourselves to the Skyland. And of course, we need ourselves 20 souls of flight. So we need to kill at least... Well, the minimum we can kill is two Wyverns. But more likely than not, we'll need to kill three. So, yeah, man. I mean, we're pretty much just going to stay up here until something happens, I guess. So let's go ahead and uh, start beating these poor saps. Obviously, one of the other things that would be nice to try and get is a giant harpy feather. That would be really, really cool because we can make ourselves harpy wings, which are, of course, a lot better than traditional, like, angel wings. So, yeah, man. I think we should go ahead, do a bit of a mini farming montage, a bit of a wyvern farming montage. And, yeah, I'll bring you guys back if something interesting happens. Hey! One dead, my friends! <laughs> it's like a mini endurance fight within itself. God damn. Jeez. Right, well, that's one dead. Let's get another one taken down. Hey, and there we have it, my friends. Wow, did he drop like three gold coins? Uh, one gold, one gold, wait, two. I could have sworn he dropped three gold coins there, but apparently I only got two out of that. Huh. Oh, there's another one. Okay, uh, oh, I was not expecting that. I'll be honest with you guys. Jeez. Okay, come on, man. What the heck? I have enough souls now to last me for a little bit anyway, but you know what? We're going to go and kill this guy anyway. Hey, and a goodie bag for good measure. Why not, man? All right, let's go ahead and open this thing real quick. Uh, rotten eggs, 13 throwing damage. Okay, that's actually a bit pants. What? Out of three wyverns, we got 42 souls of flight? What the heck, man? Wait, so what is the maximum amount of souls of flight in expert mode you can get from wyverns? Because... Yeah, that's that's definitely more than 10. I do believe that 10 is the max drop rate in regular mode, but obviously it's buffed in expert mode. And yeah, we have ourselves 42, which is really quite impressive, actually. Right, now then, uh, potion ingredients, feathers. Uh, I need to go down to the guide real quick, and I need to see how exactly to make myself the angel wings. Uh, obviously, they are the worst wings. I do believe they're the worst wings anywhere that you can get. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get the souls of flight. So here we go. 10 feathers, 20 souls of flight, and 25 souls of light. Okay, well, it's going to be better than no wings at all. So I'm thinking we go ahead and farm out some souls of light. And who knows, maybe we can come across a hallowed mimic or something like that. Be pretty cool. So, yeah, by the looks of it, the hallow is pretty much right underneath our base. So, yeah, I think we should go ahead and head down there, my friends. Down this big tree stump of stumpiness. Ah, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, it's not raining, so, you know, we can't go ahead and farm out the Nimbus Rod. The Nimbus Rod is really, really good, because it, it just is, especially against the Destroyer. It is an excellent weapon to go ahead and have in your arsenal of weapons. So, yeah. But anyways, I digress. We are now in the Hallowed Bind. We need to go ahead and do a bit of farming, get ourselves some Souls of Light. Unless we manage to get something else, of course, in the way of, you know, stuff to make different wings. That'd be kind of cool as well. So, yeah, as for the norm, let's go ahead and see what we get. Well, guys, if this isn't a bad idea in every single way possible, I don't know what is. Oh, there's a lot of guys around here, man. There is actually a blood moon on the surface, hence the red water. But I always thought it didn't affect the underground. There seems to be a lot of guys. Oh, there seems to be a lot of guys around here, dudes. It's kind of crazy, actually. Jeez. All right, can I, like, kill these guys? Ah, uh, there we go. Let's use a good old, uh, 
Yeah, let's use this thing. Seems to be doing the job real good. All right, hey, 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 get out of here, man. Come on, dudes. All right. Oh, man, there's so many guys here. If I could kill them all, I would literally be the best Terraria player in the entire world. Because I've got some pretty weak weapons right now, it has to be said. Oh, get out of here, blooming Lamia. I don't need you around here, Sonny Jimbo. Get out of here. All right, there we go. All right, so Mr. Illuminati Slime. Wait, is there two of them there? I think there is. Jeez. All right, that's you, Dad. Another goodie bag. Oh, my God. Look at the blooming water right now, man. It's like a, a cesspool of goodies. It's amazing. I love it. All right. Oh, yeah. There are two um, Illuminati slimes. All right. Cool. All right. Yeah. Uh, get out of it. And you get out of it. Oh, and there's a blooming chaos elemental. They just can't leave me alone, can they? They really want me, don't they? They want to take me out on dates and they want to, they want to like, give me food. And, and at the end of it, they just want to kill me. All right. The Souls of Light. How many are we going to get? This is a pretty dang nice amount. All right. So we've got a blessed apple, which is really, really cool. Let's go and put that on real quick. Hey. I got me a unicorn. Wow. Look at how cool he looks with this dye on, dudes. Huh. Ah! Hey, Mr. Ghosty, get out of here, man. What are you doing, man? Get out of here. Jeez, what the hell? Come on. Hey, do you, are you going to give me something cool? No? Well, you know, screw you and all that kind of stuff. Damn it. Oh! Even in hard mode, I get killed by blooming boulders. What's up with that? Jeez. Okay, well, at least we can uh, take this opportunity to have a look at our soul supply. <laughs> soul supply. Sounds like I really am doing Halloween stuff, huh? Well, um, hmm. I just had a thought, actually. Because it is a blood moon, we could maybe start farming out some clowns. And maybe we can get a banana ring? I think a banana ring might be a cool idea, actually. So, yeah. I think we should farm out the rest of this blood moon. We've got, like, three and a half minutes. So, the chances of it actually happening, I guess, are pretty low. But we'll have a look anyway. Ah, well, at the very least, we've got ourselves a fast clock out of it. It has just become daytime, of course, so... Yeah, nothing too decent. We've got ourselves a Wraith Banner, which is kind of cool, so we can do more damage against these floaty buggers. But aside from that, nothing too interesting to report, to be honest. Alrighty, guys. So, currently, we have 17 Souls of Light, and I've... I Ah, oh, crap. I've actually decided that what I want to do is I want to use both of these spell tomes. Oh, so let me just uh, kill this gal. Get out of here, man. You ain't killing me, Sonny Jimbo. Go on, man. Get out of here. Get out of here. You ain't going to stone me, son. There we go. Ooh. A pocket mirror. Immunity to pet petrification. That's awesome. So what? Does it mean I won't get stoned anymore? I'm pretty sure that's a 1.3.3 thing, right? I could be completely wrong, but I'm... But I might, I'm, I'm sure it is. Again, could be wrong. I don't know. But yeah, I want to go ahead and make myself the Cursed Flames and also the uh, Crystal Storm. So we're going to need a total of 40 Souls of Light for the wings and uh, for the spell time combined. And we also need 15 Souls of Night. So this is essentially going to be a soul mining episode. Oh my lord. There's actually a lot. Oh, there's a lot of guys around here, man. Get out of here, dudes. Go on, fat bats. Hey, I'll take a goodie bag any day, man. All right, and uh, let's take this gal out the game. Oh, you ain't blooming stoning me now. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, get off me, son. All right. And a little bit of the old health would be brilliant. Oh, I haven't got any health potions. Wait, what the hell? I haven't got any health potions left. Jeez. That's terrible. All right, I need to get down and, like, uh, get up get up to get down. All right, uh, Mr. Cave Bat. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and send some balls down there. Hey, get off me, bro. Here we go, see how it all does, alright, and if I could get this kill right here, there we go, I should be able to go down, oh there's two of them, oh this isn't looking so hot right now, alright, oh, there's bats everywhere, I want to kill these guys so much, because they've killed me before in this series, and I can't just allow them to keep having that victory, you know what I'm saying, alright, that's you dead, and that's you dead. Yeah, buddy, you just got destroyed. All right, guys, time to do some sort of farming. Dalek, the goblin tinkerer. Wait, what? Why is there a Dalek in my world? Jeez, I don't want that. Holy crap. Well, hello there, skeleton merchant. I know exactly what I'm buying from you. I do believe we already have a counterweight, but now we can make a yo-yo glove or buy the yo-yo glove and then make the yo-yo bag, man. That's awesome. Wait, hang on. I want to go and check the damage of the yo-yo he's selling real quick. Uh, format C is 35. That's 36. If I get a good one of these, it's going to be more than 36. But 
I don't know. I don't think it's really worth it. I mean, 20 gold coins. I feel like I can uh, put that on something a little bit better than uh, just a yo-yo. So, uh, anyways, I digress. We're going to go ahead and try to get ourselves one more sort of light. And hopefully we'll get it from these guys down here. And, uh, yeah, then we'll be, uh, we'll, it will be time. We'll, it will be time to go ahead and make ourselves some uh, angel wings, man. It's been a very long time since I've done that. So, yeah. All right. Let's farm this guy out. This is going to be a terrible night. For real, man? You're going to give me the twins on me? Jeez. All right, well, I guess we're staying underground for a little bit up until the twins bugger off because, quite frankly, I don't want them here. They are not welcome in this world. I do not accept their kind. I mean, dudes. Probably coming around because I care because I killed so many eyeballs on the previous night. So, yeah. It's only right, but at the same time, I don't want them invading my dang world. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right, we can start mining up some orichalcum now as well, so... Actually, by doing this massive grindy session, we're killing so many birds with one stone. Ah! Killing so many birds with one stone, it's actually kind of crazy. Alright, can you, like, go away, Mr. Illuminati Bat? All these Illuminati dudes are really annoying. I mean, I, I'm full aware of the fact that the Illuminati on this game want my butt, but I don't even know what for, to be honest with you. But the fact that they're still trying to get me, and they still haven't killed me yet, I mean, they're just failing, man. They're failing so bad. Whoa! Did you see that guy? He just, like, full-on darted towards me. Ah! Uh, Uh-oh! Okay, maybe I'm gonna eat my words in just a sec here. Uh, we've got some ghosties. Uh, ghosty, get out of here, man. Get, uh, uh, oh, God, there's an increased amount of ghosts. What the hell is going on? What is this? Freaking destiny? Get out of it! Oh, my God, there's three of them! What is this? Ghost invasion? We need the Ghostbusters right now, man. We need them. Uh, and apparently, I will be the Ghostbusters. I'm doing their job for them at the moment. Jesus, good lord. All right. Hey, there we go. And a goodie bag. Oh, we've got six goodie bags right now. God damn, we're doing pretty crazy right now. I wonder if I can get a rod of discord from these guys. That would be pretty awesome. Wait, is he legit stuck? Huh, he was just stood there doing nothing. <laughs> What an idiot. Alright, hey, more souls of light. Sweet. So, yeah, we're in the process of getting ourselves some crystal shards at the moment, but, you know, again, killing many birds with one stone, we can also grab a bunch of orichalcum as well. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get a bunch of stuff. Oh, wow. That guy was like Christmas right there. Another blessed apple, a soul of light, and some other stuff as well. Jeez. Nice one. Alrighty, guys. So, after a whole bunch of farming, we have ourselves 130 orichalcum. We've got 50 souls of light. And, well, essentially, the point of the matter is we should have more than enough to go ahead and make all of the stuff that I would like to make. So, let's start off with the cobweb. We've got 81 bits right here. And, actually, I think that's all I need. So, I need to make myself some, uh, some string, some white string. There we go. Warding white string. Oh, yeah. Now I get warding on blooming accessories that I am going to combine into something else. Yeah, that's, that's perfectly fine. I mean, you know, there's nothing wrong with that and stuff. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. So, yeah, moving on. We can uh, head upstairs real quick. We can actually sell one of our blessed apples, which is kind of awesome. And, uh, yeah, essentially the fact of the matter is we should be able to make ourselves all the stuff. So, we got yo-yo glove. We've got ourselves the string, and finally we have ourselves the counterweight somewhere around here. Counterweight, counterweight, counterweight. There it is. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so now we can make ourselves the yo-yo bag, which is going to be amazing. There we go. Yo-yo bag. Beautiful. All right, this is probably going to go in place of the magma stone. So now this thing should do a whole lot more damage, right? Should do anyway, when I actually hit something with it, that is. Uh, okay, so Red Husk, I'm going to get rid of that. Let's just quick stack some stuff. There we go. Nice one. Okay, and now if we just head up to a regular anvil, or head down to a regular anvil, shall I say, I should be able to make myself some stuffs, right? Or do I need an orichalcum anvil? I think I might need an orichalcum anvil. All right, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. So orichalcum anvil. Uh, I'm going to put the orichalcum anvil up top, in fact. So uh, let's go ahead and just quickly uh, chuck this down somewhere. So uh, for now, I'm just going to put it here. And now I can make myself some angel wings, which, like I said, not the best wings in the game, it has to be said, but it will do the job for now. So now our horseshoe is completely defunct. We do not need it at all. So I'm going to go and put it away. So I'm going to put this away. We're going to go ahead and put this away. I'm going to put the lava charm away as well. And Shield of Cthulhu might wind up being useful for boss battles eventually. But for now, again, I'm going to go and put it away. So, um, what do I need? Oh, hang on. I, I just remembered. I think I need to make a bookcase or grab a bookcase. 
I don't know if I have a bookcase. I don't know if I was smart enough to pick one up in the past. If I was, that's pretty damn awesome. Uh, bookcase, 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 bookcase. Not seeing one currently. Ay, 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 I might need to head to the dungeon. That's probably going to be the easiest place to pick one up. Unless I'm completely blind and I'm looking at one. I don't know, man. Or maybe there's one in one of the underground houses we've already explored. Uh, could be a possibility. Statue, statue. I say we just have a bit of a, a trundle round and see if we can't find ourselves a bookcase. Wait, what the heck? Check this out, guys. I found three bookshelves all right next to each other. What even is that? <laughs> That's really, really funny to me, man. Well, for the sake of symmetry. Ow! For the. Hey! What, hey! What the hell, man? There's so many dudes here. Get out of here, man. All of you lot. Blooming two gold keys. I mean, I'll take it, but I don't really need it. So, yeah, anyways, we got ourselves a bookcase. And one of the things I actually forgot was the fact I'm trying to make the cursed flames as well. So, I'm going to need to go farming in the underground corruption biome, which, in my opinion, is actually a lot more dangerous than the, uh, than the underground hallow. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Your guys' opinion may differ from mine. It's a, it's a perfectly cool thing to do. Right, okay. Uh, let me just go ahead and uh, place this little baby down. And yeah, there we go. The crystal storm is right there. Let's go ahead and make it. Oh, it's godly. 29 magic damage. Hey, nice one. Unfortunately, we don't have ourselves a mage set of armor. So it is literally just that. There is no specialty about it. So, yeah. But still shoots pretty fast. Uh, no plus speed, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. But, oh well. But anyways, I digress. We need to go and get to, get down to the underground corruption biome and do some farming. Let's, let's sell this in the meantime because, you know, it's a dupe and stuff. Yeah. Ooh, check it out, guys. There's a magic quiver way up there. I didn't even, I didn't even kill an enemy to get that. He literally just fell in the lava, obviously. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious, actually. Well, free accessories are good accessories. Nice one. So we can have ourselves a good ranger loadout now, which is kind of nice. Sweet. Well, hello there, Mr. Mimic. How you doing, Sonny? Oh, you're going to give me something absolutely incredibly epic, right? Yeah? Come on, man. Give me something epic. I really want something cool. A weapon? Yes. That'll do nicely. A mystic magic dagger. Uses five mana and has 45 magic damage. Very, very awesome. So at this point, my friends, I have got all of the souls of night. But now we need to try and farm for some, uh, for some, uh, what are they called? Flame? Cursed flames? Yeah, we need to, we need to get some of them. And then we can make the cursed flames spell book thing. All right, let's get this thing rolling. Huh, mechanical eye. Well, I'll take a free spawner any day, man. That's freaking awesome, man. Sweet. So I'm trying to get the the world feeders, you know, the sort of mini eater of worlds to spawn in because they give you cursed flames and you don't even have to go underground to get them. Obviously, obtaining them underground is a lot easier, but uh, I don't know. I, I feel like I should just keep on with this and, uh, you know, they should eventually start spawning. Even got myself a blooming uh, battle potion on, which is a bit on the dangerous side, it has to be said, but oh well. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys. At long freaking... Last. I'm not going to lie to you guys. For some reason, farming up those cursed flames took a hell of a lot longer than I really wanted it to, man. It took me a good 45 minutes just to farm out 21. We only need 20, of course, but I feel like we can get such a better rate of cursed flames. I really do. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, we managed to farm it all out. We managed to get ourselves a cursed flames as a result. Uh, uses 12 mana, summons unholy fireballs. Awesome. So I've got to give credit to this thing right here, the Dark Lance. It is it has taken me through this episode really, really well. I'm I'm actually quite surprised at how good it actually is against uh, crowd control. Obviously, it's not so forgiving if you uh, don't manage to hit a bat. For example, the bats could just come around and pwn your butt. So that's a thing. So in terms of weapons, I'm going to keep. I'm going to go ahead and keep the Cascade, the Dark Lance. We're going to obviously have these two created weapons here. Uh, we're going to keep this, keep this, and well, pretty much everything here is what we're going to use. So everything else. Literally everything else can go ahead and get put away. So, yeah, man, I'm feeling pretty good about how much progress we made today, whatever the case. So, yeah, feeling really, really good about it. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and clear out my inventory real quick. There we go. Hard mode stuff goes in there. And now we're going to go ahead and spam open our nine goodie bags. So we're starting off with a pretty cool painting, actually. Nice one. Oh, I can't do anything with it currently. Uh, wolf shirt. Ooh. Look at me, man. I'm a wolf. I'm pretty sure I've already got this, actually. 
<laughs> kind of cool. All right, we got ourselves a witch outfit. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> awesome. Okay, moving on. We got ourselves cat ears. Okay, and another one of those. We got ourselves a treasure hunter outfit. Um. Okay, not entirely sure the point of that. Anyway, moving on. We've got ourselves some rotten eggs. We've got ourselves the princess outfit. I look absolutely fabulous now, as you can quite clearly see. And finally, we have ourselves some more rotten eggs. Honestly, I'm I'm feeling like keeping the Reaper costume on, man, because it does the job. Although, the witch hat. Yeah, man, I kind of like the witch hat with the Reaper robe combination. It kind of It kind of speaks to me. All right, here we go. Uh, although I'm pretty sure, yeah, I, I think we should go ahead and keep the green there, and then instead we'll put the, ooh, hang on, hang on a sec, what should we do, what should we do? We should go ahead and colour in the wings, so let's colour in the wings real quick. Oh, look at me, man, I look like a dark knight. <laughs> I look amazing. But anyways, guys, on that note, it's been a very grindy episode. It's been nearly a three-hour recording, which is among the highest amount of time I've ever recorded for one episode. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Do be sure to drop a like button if you did. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to know in the future videos of ads. But thanks for watching, my friends. Your support, as always, has been much appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.